From the FT in London, here's the latest on markets. Synchronised watches, it's draggy time. The European Central Bank is set to reveal its latest monetary policy stance later today. And of course, traders and investors are hunting for signs on what happens next with the bond buying programme. No one really expects the central bank to move rates today, but there's a decent chance it will extend QE beyond March and or loosen up the rules on which bonds it can buy. It may of course choose to do neither just yet. Inflation is well below target, but the ripple effects of the UK's Brexit vote have so far proven relatively modest. The latest growth forecast from the ECB will be key. The euro is creeping higher in the run-up, suggesting that the market thinks the central bank will hold fire, but the move is small. Sterling, meanwhile, is at the upper end of its recent range, but with Mark Carney leaving his options open and stressing the role of easier policy in supporting the UK economy, 135 to the dollar seems a bridge too far for now. The FTSE is doing well, driven by a huge rally in microfocus, which is merging with a unit of HP.